Hello, this is Jan from Red Toad Art Studio, and I'm going to bring you an Agawatober snippet today. These snippets are short ideas of things you can do with your Agawatober journal. So, one of the first things I found out as I was making my journal is that it was getting very mouthy. Got a big old mouth laying there. And we do want to find a way to close our journal. And the easiest way is just to put some eyelets in it. Now, I have this fancy dancy eyelet maker that I really like. I use it in scrapbooking all the time. You may not have one of these, but you can get simple little tools in uh, the craft department of like Walmart or your craft store that lets you put eyelets in very easily. But I'm going to use this since I have it. So I think I want to put an eyelet in my front cover and my back cover and then add some ribbon so I can tie my book closed. Now if you've never used one of these, these are really neat gadgets. This is the uh, We Are Memory Keepers. Um, well, it puts eyelets in. That's basically what it does. And it will punch your hole for you to put the eyelet in, and it makes it just the right size. So I'm going to eyeball my journal, and now, really, I haven't tried going through ribbon like this, so we will learn together. I eyeball this little hole right here, right where I want my hole to be. You know, I think I'll come a little closer to the edge. And I squeeze, and look at that hole it made. Maybe, you probably can't see that. Let me slip the eyelet in now. Once we have the hole, we slip an eyelet in there, and then we put this on over that eyelet, and we squeeze, and it fastens our eyelet in just like that. How easy is that? Now, I need to make a matching one on this side, so I'm just going to eyeball this. It's not always the smartest thing to do, is it? And I am going to make a hole right here on the other side. You can't see that, but trust me, that's what I'm trying to do. I just made a hole on this side. Now I'm going to slip this eyelid in. Okay, now I'm going to squeeze and it will flatten my eyelid out. Okay? Now, what I want to do is add some ribbon to these. Yes. I'm just going to thread some ribbon down through here. I'm going to make a knot at the end of this so it can't come through my eyelet. In fact, I'm going to make two knots so it's a little bigger knot. Because I haven't even really begun to make art pages yet. I'm making things to make art pages with. But boy, I can't imagine how big and fat my book is going to be by the time I add all that. There we go. There's one there. Now I need to add one on this side. I will knot this now again. Double knot it. Be sure that second knot comes in over that first knot so you have a nice fat knot there. And so now all we have to do when we want our book to stay shut is to tie a cute little bow. And there we go. Isn't that cute? Now our book can stay shut. Now, while we're working on the book, there's one more upgrade you can make. When we made our book, we had one rubber band, and we put all of our papers in it, and then we had a center, and then we could pull these out to work on, which is great. We're not going to change that idea. 
What I am changing is the fact that you can divide these papers, half them, put another rubber band on, and then you have two sections. Let's see. I don't, I'm not sure how to make you see this. Maybe if I do it like this. Now, we have two sections in our book. And I did this for a strange reason. This book, I'm working awful hard on it. And I may want to make this fairly long-lasting. There may come a time when I'll want to sew these in and make them more permanent when I'm done with the book and don't need to pull pages in and out. Or this may be good enough. We, I will see, but I do like the idea of an option and not so many pages stacked on top of each other. So I have two rubber bands coming across the back. I have right now a purple one and a pink one. Now, I want to keep these together, though. So I'm going to take another piece of red ribbon that matches my tie. Bring it up to the top here. Very simple solution. I'm going to tie that tie around those two rubber bands. There we go. And now, this will make a cute dangly if I want it. I could put some um, beads or whatever I want on the end of these and have a dangly. Now, I haven't decided exactly what I want to put there yet. But I will put something on those. Now, I also think I probably need to put a short one down here. And then my rubber bands are held in one place. And easily changed if I want to change it back to one rubber band. Or if I want to take them out and I want to sew my pages in. Okay. Tie my book shut. And there we go. I'm not sure. I have a couple like old bronze keys that might look neat on here. And there are my upgrades to my book. Now, this is snippet number one, and I will be putting up some more snippets of just ideas of things for your book that you can download any time from now on and through the end of October. So, bye-bye for now.